Hi guys, today I'll teach you how to make animations for your 2D top down movement like you can see here. Last time I have showed you how to make the functionality for this movement, but obviously you can use this method that we are going to be using today with uh, any other type of movement. Let's get started. So last time we have just created this small script for the movement and today we will be expanding it a little bit. But first we will start with creating those animations. So go under the window, animation and open animation window. You can drag this somewhere here. And now you need to select the object that you want to animate. So this can be the player and we can create new animation clip. We will be creating total eight clips because we are moving in four directions and four of those clips will be for the idle and four will be for the movement. But obviously you can add another four for something like running, crouching and so on. And like this you can hit this clip and create new clips for all of those animations. And as you can see I have just added those eight animations, four for the idle and four for the movement. Now we can select each of those clips and just add the sprites in. So I have the sprite sheet here, we have sliced it last time and for the idle down I will just take this character that is looking down and do the same thing for all of those other clips. And obviously for those movement clips you can just select more of those sprites and put all of them in. Now we can just easily try to play them and you can see that it is working. It is kind of fast, but we will edit it later in the animator. Now we need to open new window and this will be under animation and animator. And this is just the place where you connect all of those animations together. You can see that it automatically edit all of those animations clips, but we can just delete them for now and we'll create new state and it will be blend tree. This just allows you to blend multiple animations together according to some parameter. The parameters we can add them here and we'll need three parameters. One will be for the horizontal movement, it will be just some number like one if we are moving to the right, minus one if to the left and so on. Also parameter for moving the vertical and then one for speed. This will just be like zero or one depending on how fast we are moving. That way when we are moving at some slower speed we can play the idle animation and when we are moving at the higher speed we can play the movement or even running animation. You can easily hit this plus and add float. So now we have all of those parameters in. You can double click the blend tree and here you can actually see what's inside the blend tree. Here we will actually add more blend trees into the blend tree, that way we can blend those animations. So this first blend tree will be just uh, deciding if we should be moving up, right, left or down and then all of those other blend trees will be deciding if we are actually idling or moving or running. Now we need to set type of this blend tree, so this will be 2D, simple, directional and just assign those parameters, so the horizontal and vertical. And here we need to add those motions, but because we will be using actually another blend tree under this blend tree, we will hit add and add new blend tree and we will need to add four blend trees because we are moving in four directions. I also recommend you to name the blend trees according to which direction we are moving. And now on the main blend tree we need to set the positions of those movements. So when we are moving up y should be 1 and x should be 0. Now we can see that this dot is up as it should be. And we can do the same thing with all of those other motions. So now you can see that I have those four dots as they should be. This is the left, up, right and down. Now we can select those individual blend trees and add motion fields in which we can actually add those animations. So we can add two motion fields. The blend type of those smaller blend trees we can just leave it on 1D which is like one axis 
and then the parameter will be the speed. So when we are moving at the zero speed, it will play the idle. And when we are moving at higher speed, it will play the movement animation. And this will be same for all of those four blend trees. And now into each blend tree, we can just add those motions. So first it will be the idle, and the second one will be the movement. Now you can untick automate thresholds and we can actually set our own threshold. This means like when the animation will trigger. So when the speed is zero, we can trigger the idle and as soon as the volume is higher, so that can be like 0.01, then we can trigger the movement animation and we can do the same for all of those blend trees. So just input the threshold. Because if you would leave the threshold on one, then the animation would play uh, kind of light. So now we should have everything set up for this blend tree. Also, when you go into the base layer, which is here, now on this main blend tree on the base layer, you can actually adjust the speed, which will adjust speed of all of those animations, which is pretty useful. Now we can go into the player script and we will start setting those parameters in the animator. For this, we will be using the node animator set float because it is type of float and we can use the first one. We can do this on update. And because we have the animator on the same object where we have the script, which is on the player, like you can see here, we can leave here this and just import the name. So I will be setting the speed. And for the speed, we have actually already defined variable movement speed, which is just magnitude of the movement direction. So we can set it like this. Next, we can easily set the vertical and horizontal parameter the same way, but we want to make sure that the movement direction is not zero. So we can ask if and the movement direction is not equal. It's not equal to zero for which we can use vector down zero, which will just get the zero vector. Now we can just set those vertical and horizontal parameters the same way. So we can set the horizontal parameter to the X of the movement direction. So just say movement direction X get and do the same thing for the vertical. But here we will just get the Y. Now we can see that it is correctly playing those animations depending to which direction I'm moving. So I hope I helped you with this video. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!